Hi, welcome to Sense Orbit. When you're beginning with graphic design or digital art or any kind of visual design, the first thing you should know is what kind of software you should be working with. Today we will be talking about two softwares. One is Adobe Illustrator and another is Krita. Adobe Illustrator is a vector software. Now, vector softwares are used by visual designers to create designs for packaging, branding, websites, and much more. Vector softwares let you save or export your work to formats that support scalability. So, for example, something that you create in Adobe Illustrator, you can print it on huge physical sizes with no harm done to the quality at all. However, a file that has been made with a non-vector software like Krita, scaling up can most definitely hamper the quality. Now, of course, you can go with a huge canvas size if you want to make a big design, but that may make the software run very slowly on your computer. And the file size of these raster images will also be a lot more. So in this case, it's just better to use a vector software. To create a new file in Krita, you should click here. Now these are the various settings that Krita offers you when you create your file. It provides you with the freedom to choose the size for your canvas. Right now I am creating a 2000 by 2000 pixels canvas. Here in the color modes you should choose RGB. If you are creating something that is going to be displayed on screens and not printed because the RGB color mode offers bright colors that look very nice on devices but if you want to print your design you should go for the cmyk mode resolution is basically how many pixels per inch there are we are going ahead with 300 which is a pretty good resolution and now click here to create your file in this course we will be talking to you about the basics of graphic design and so i'm not going to go into the details of each software here now to create a new file in Adobe Illustrator, click on new file. You can choose your canvas size, orientation, resolution and color mode. And when you're done, go ahead and click on create. We'll go back to Krita for a second. Now Krita is a raster software which is mainly used for digital painting. And so it has a lot of non-vector tools that support painting. As you can see, it offers you a huge variety of brushes to choose from. The workflow in a non-vector software like Krita is quite different from that of a vector software. For this series, we will be focusing mainly on vector design. So let's close Krita now and go back to Adobe Illustrator. The artboard in Adobe Illustrator can be moved around, like how you would move an actual paper. It's a very tiny little feature, but it's great for the user experience. So to move the artboard, you just have to press and hold down the space bar on your keyboard and move it in whatever direction you want. To zoom out, you can press the Ctrl minus key on your keyboard and click on the artboard and Ctrl plus on your keyboard to zoom in. I'm working on a Windows PC so these shortcuts may or may not work on a Mac or with other OSs. But in any case, you will always have the zoom tool here on the left in the toolbar. Just click on this magnifying glass and click on the artboard where you want to zoom in. To zoom out, you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. You will see that the plus inside the magnifying glass has changed to a minus, which means now you can just click on the artboard and zoom out. Now to get rid of the zoom tool and go to the default uh, pointer that you had, what you need is the select tool. It is this tool on the topmost of your toolbar. You can use this tool to interact with objects when you want to select them or move them around. We will be talking about many more tools that you see here on the toolbar and even these panels on the right and the menus on the top. And later on in the section 2, we'll also be creating a lot of designs. So I hope to see you in our next video.